The new library search interface can be accessed from different points on the library's main page. So if you were to click the Find It button here, this is going to take you to our one-stop search. If you click the library catalog, this will take you to the catalog, of course, uh, and if you click on journal list, this will take you to the journal list, and course reserves takes you to course reserves. Each of these sections are searching a different set uh, of the information that we have available here at the library. So I'm going to walk you through those various options. So clicking on the Find It button, we will go to the new search interface. And the main thing to note is that you have different tabs along the top of the search bar. And when you change the tab, you're changing which resources you're actually searching through. So the idea behind one-stop search is that you're searching all of the different types of resources that we have available at the library. So you're searching books, you're searching videos, but you're also now searching articles within journals, which is something we weren't able to do before. Now the thing to keep in mind is that right now this doesn't cover all of the articles that we have available in our collection. So we'll be missing stuff. So we still want to tell our patrons that when you're looking for articles, if you want to be certain that you're covering your subject area, that you go to our subject databases still. However, there's still um, One Stop Search is a good place to start sometimes uh, to quickly see what kind of resources might be out there for you. So for some users, this might be a good place to start looking. So let's just try a search here. So if I were to look at cancer biomarkers, you could see that a lot of different type materials are coming up. So we have titles of journals, we have review papers, we have articles. So there's lots of different stuff that's coming up in this search. In fact, nearly 80,000 journals, over 100,000 full text articles. So lots of resources. You'll notice along the left-hand side that we can cut down on this giant pool of resources by using different facets. So the first facet is the resource type facet. So this says, okay, uh, I just want to look at, let's suppose you just want to look at articles. You can check that off and that will remove all other uh, types of items from your search results. You could also narrow it further by looking at specific subjects. So let's say you're interested in oncology and you don't want to look at the rest. You can cut that down even further. So now we've gone from hundreds of thousands of potential results down to a thousand, which is still a lot, but it's a way to sort of quickly cut down on the information you're looking at. You have a date slider that you can sort of move up, which allows you to again focus your search. Uh, so these facets uh, are all ways of narrowing things down, and so keep an eye on those. Um, <clears throat> and now you'll notice along the top you can see here what facets that you've applied to your search. So you know that you're looking at just articles, you know that you're looking at the subject of oncology and things that have been published uh, in this date range. If you want to go remove any of these facets from your search, so if you want to get back to your original search, you can just click the X and that will remove these facets that you've applied. So I'm getting rid of all the ones that I just went through. And we should be back to what we had in our original search results. Okay, so um, that's one-stop search. Now if there is, uh, if you want to actually access uh, one of these materials, what you need to do is click on the View It tab for online materials. And then you'll get uh, links to the full text for these resources that you can follow through on. The details tab will give you a little bit more information about uh, how it's been cataloged. These different subjects as well can be helpful. So uh, if I were to click on one of these, it will pull up uh, all of the resources related to that, uh, this subject marker, basically. All right. Um, You'll notice there's also an actions menu here. So the action menu is very helpful and something that's easy to miss. And it only pops up once you've clicked on uh, view it or details. That will allow you to get to this ac actions menu. And there are different things you can notice you can do here. Add to eShelf, and I'll talk about that more when I, uh, in the section on, on creating your account. Um, there's, you can email a record to yourself, you can print off this record, you can permalink, and permalink is important because it gives you a, a durable URL that always will point you back to this resource in the future. So if I click this, it will, I should copy this URL and I can use that to point back to this resource in the future and find it again. You don't want to click 
this giant big URL in the address bar to try and use that as a permanent URL because it may be session dependent and you might try to use it again in the future and it won't work. So if you want to you'd get a URL for an item, actions, permalink. You can also create a citation or export to things like RefWorks Delicious or to an RIS. So I'm going to leave it there for this first video. So that's a quick introduction to one-stop search, what it does, uh, using the facets to narrow things down, and how to actually access things by clicking on the view it or tab, and then the different actions that you can do. So uh, I'm also going to add videos uh, talking about using the catalog, using course reserve, and using the journalist, and uh, using your account. All right. Thank you very much for watching.